Gwen. Gwen. Ice cream. Old school. Machine. Ice. Salt. Poking. Waiting. Worthwhile. Ten minutes to go. It's going to be good stuff. We would have done the part where Teresa made the ice cream, but uh, I wasn't here to say, hey, why don't you videotape that part? So if you're interested, go to the website. We'll tell you how we do it. Not sure if I'm supposed to be doing it this much, but I get bored easy, so I just keep poking fun. Just saying. The key is, you can tell like the water here, you want as much water as high as possible because that's going to transfer the cold into your ice cream. That's why you have the salt to melt the ice and the ice just keeps going in for the full 40-45 minutes that you do this. And if you get lucky and it gets turned into cream early, you know, Look, this one will stop. I'm going to have to say this ice cream maker is not like super old school because it's pink. Super old school are like wood barrels that they used to have. And you had a hand crank. I'm not that old school. I might have to be, you know, if we run out of electricity and stuff. But, you know. Some people poke the bear, the bear pokes the ice cream, it's all good. Another thing that I do, that Teresa sometimes agrees with, sometimes don't. If you're going to have ice cream, have your containers frozen, or have your first bowl frozen. That way it doesn't uh, melt as much when you first eat it. Here's our really messy kitchen. What's that? Here's our really messy kitchen. Hey, it's a used kitchen. <laughs> We're not on, you know, food TV. We're not vlogging, you know, the specialty stuff. This is a real freaking kitchen. It has messes. It has some dirty dishes. It has cats. See the Callie. Hi, Callie. You're special. Frost is special too. He's not impressed with the ice cream. He probably wants his dinner. Here's the Pakistani food I cooked for our lunches this week. for the lunches. Here's the soap I made. She didn't videotape that, but, you know, she moves around a lot for it. <laughs> so, and another good thing, you want this big layer of frost. That tells you the stuff is getting good. Do that again. The big layer of frost right here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, if you're making the ice cream, and it, if it freezes, if it freezes early and shuts it off, there'll be a less creamy flavor than if, like say you run it for the full 45 minutes and then some. I, I tend to taste more creaminess than, uh, than normal. So if you can keep it spinning long enough, it's kind of like it's turning it into butter really slowly. Really cold, good, yummy butter. Ice creamy butter. By the way, since there's a bright window behind you, we can't see you very well. You're kind of a shadow. How's this? That's better. That's better? Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't cloak <laughs> at a distance. 
but here, how about I do this? Can you see me now? No, you have to move to the right so the window's not behind right. you. Like that? Uh, no, maybe the other way was better. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, my arm's getting tired. Your arm's getting tired? Well, do you want to take a minute? It's like, we only got like five minutes. you want to like take a break and then we'll um, like uh, film the unveiling? Sounds good. All right. And uh, Woo! timer just went off. Oh, much nicer, much quieter. All right. Now for the unveiling. For our tiny homestead, we were kind of hoping for something a little better for our first video, but... How can you get better than ice cream, right? All right. This is... Yeah. And we have that. And there is some serious ice cream goodness. All right. Seeing that it is only two of us, would you like the first bite? How can I take a picture of it? There we go. Oh, did just, give turn, turn, just give me a bite. Turn, no, just give me a bite. No, just give me a bite. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. See, turn no, the camera. There I don't we have go. to. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. You know, people oh are going to dig this. It's good, isn't it? Oh. Did you snort it? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody's shoved it down my throat. What? <laughs> good stuff. But just in case for a second, you know, taste test here. Yeah, you don't want any of this. Oh, good stuff. All right. So, we got this. Goodness. Graciousness. You gotta love making your own ice cream. And the cool thing is that if you haven't read in our blog, we use honey as our sweetener instead of sugar. Which just makes the taste a whole lot better. And seeing that I'm the guy that got to uh, stand here and maneuver the ice cream maker for, you know, like 40 minutes, working, slaving, I get to do this part. I ain't worried. I got plenty of clean t-shirts in the closet. <laughs> so. <laughs> the stuff that's going in is like awesome. Just saying. Ah. I ain't pretty, but I'm damn happy about this. Oh. You okay? You're, you're, you're wasting some. Sorry. My bad. Sure, let's do a close-up. Mm. Let's do a close-up oh. of your arm. Of my arm? <laughs> I was kidding. You just had your arm in front of the camera. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, but you want to try to do the uh, I'll feed you again thing? No, you but sure? I want some. You can feed me, but it doesn't have to be on the camera. Okay, fine. There you go. All right. Oh. And seeing that this is, you know, a real kitchen and there's like real dishes and stuff everywhere. Daniel the bear. Daniel the bear. Now he's only doing that part because, you know, he's being videotaped. Oh, so like I'm like really dirty when I <laughs> when we're not videotaping. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I don't clean it off at all. I just like go to bed like this. No problem. <laughs> So, good enough? Um, GQ? Yeah. Oh, don't look at me. You would be doing the exact same thing if you had a pose with thumbs. You know it. Yes. Another reason, like, we're, it's just the two of us? Yeah, just the two of us. There you go, bud. You want to try it? Oh, camera shy. Never mind. It's good stuff. Stupid cat. So, oh. 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's like on TV they say use the high tech, use the you know thousand dollar machines. This thing we got for five bucks at a garage sale, maybe what four years ago. For five bucks, makes awesome ice cream. You know what you're doing. You don't need the expensive crap. So this is Teresa's bowl that we leave in the freezer. <laughs> Oops. Like I said, real TV people, real dishes. That's stay. Ouch. Cold. Very cold. And we have the second batch for me. Oh, and the stuff that's on the bottom, I'm having to scrape kind of hard. That means it's cream instead of just like ice cream. Yeah, my freaking hand is cold. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. No frostbite. Takes away from the enjoyment. So. Don't drop the ice cream. I know. The five second rule will not apply. Especially not on our floors. Uh, <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I splooshed. Right. So, that one's the fullest. That one's mine. Oh. Oh, no. It's cat. Crust. Ice cream down. Here you have the good stuff. See, there's also a really good reason that these containers aren't like wide topped, because then I'd be doing like But since I can't do that. Yeah, buddy. In case you didn't catch it the first time. Yeah, buddy. Homemade ice cream. Gotta go. <laughs> Bet you wish you had postal phones now, don't you, Cat? And wrap it up. Okay. So, there you have it. Our tiny homestead. Making your own ice cream. And, oh, there he goes. Smart cat. He's making sure not to get brain freeze. So, and if you want to get, like, the, the recipe and such, go ahead and go to our, our website, ourtinyhomestead.com. Now I got the bowls that are in the freezer, so when we go sit in front of TV and eat the ice cream, not going to melt as much. Just saying. And cut. <laughs>